let's start our course from this presentation and uh, first i will write down the course that we are going to study the first one is your bcd or it is also called as 8421 course we will complete this bcd in this lecture the second one is your gray code the third one is your access 3 code and the fourth one is your 2421 code we will see what are these and also see some of the properties that are important while solving the questions for this particular code so without wasting any time let us start the first one that is our b c d code okay now here your b c d it stands for binary coded decimal okay this b c d is an abbreviation for your binary coded decimal it is also called as 8421 code why it is called as 8421 code because of the weights okay we will see why it is called as 8421 so as it is the binary coded for the decimal one so we will first write the decimal and then code it into the binary or we can say that b c d so the decimal numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so by using this 8 4 2 let's see how we can code it so this is 8 4 2 1 this is actually the weight of the different bits the first bit is having the weight of 1 the second bit is having the weight of 2 the third bit is having the weight of 4 and similarly the fourth bit is having the weight of 8 if you have already learned from my previous lecture then you might knowing what is this weight so let's start if you want 0 if you want 0 then you have to make 0 the four zeros you have to make all the four bits as 0 okay and if you want to make 1 then you have to make the first three bits 0 and make the last bit 1 okay similarly if you want 2 then you are having 0 1 0 because if it is 1 we are having 2 similarly for 3 you want 0 0 1 1 2 plus 1 is your 3 and 4 will be 0 1 0 0 0 okay And five is your zero one zero one six is your zero one one six four plus two is your six seven is your zero one 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 eight is your one zero 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 and the last one nine is your one zero one. So this thing, this whole set of codes, is called as. bcd binary coded decimal because we have coded this binary numbers sorry the decimal numbers into the binary the four bit binary we require only four bit binary to represent up to 9 okay so let us see some of the properties of this code the first one is the first one is it is weighted code Okay, why it is weighted code? Because there is a weight of each position. If you are talking about the access three code or gray code, they are not weighted code. They are unweighted code. We will see why we call them unweighted code. And there is nothing special to see in them because uh, by the name, it is very clear that the positions do not have weight. Like here, position is having weight, but in that case, the position do not have weight. So not a very big thing. Okay. The another point is that it is also called as 8421 code 
code okay this is something that i have already explained and in this code in this code all the decimal numbers that is 0 to 9 is represented by 4 bit binary numbers ok now there is one more thing that we have to see is what happens for the other decimal numbers or you can say the combination of the two decimal numbers from this 0 to 1 like 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 and 1 5 as there are 4 bits involved so by using these 4 bits we can represent from 0 to 15 so in this cases from here to here it is considered as the case of don't care ok or you can write it as invalid don't cares this don't cares is very useful when you solve the k map as we have not completed the k map that's why we don't talk much about it so this is the invalid you can say numbers we, if you want to represent this 10 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 and 1 5 in bcd we have to follow something else okay and uh, this is the next thing that we are going to do so let's put it as one example the example says that you have to represent or you can say convert the given decimal numbers to bcd convert given decimal numbers to bcd the first one is your 35 the second one is 174 the third one is 2479 so let's see how it is done 3 5 by using binary numbers you can definitely represent 35 ok but if you want to represent it by BCD you have to do something different than usual you have to take this first number 3 and represent it in BCD and 3 is represented in BCD by 0 0 1 1 okay so it will be 0 0 1 1 now 5 is represented by 0 1 0 1 you can see from the above table so in BCD it can be written as 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 okay this is how we represent a number in BCD similarly let's solve the rest of the two 741 sorry 174 so this 1 is represented as 0 0 0 1 7 as 0 1 1 1 this 4 as 0 1 0 0 so it is something 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 and 0 1 0 0 this is in BCD these two are in BCD similarly we can write the last number that is 2479 in BCD as 2 is represented as 0 0 1 0 the 4 is represented as 0 1 0 0 the 7 is represented as 0 1 1 1 and the 9 is represented as 1 0 0 1 ok so this is how we convert any number any decimal number into bcd now let's see that how this 35 can be written in binary in binary only this remember this is not bcd it is 
simple binary so you know how to find it i can write it directly but i am doing it by the procedure so 2 goes uh, 1 6 not 6 is 7 17 times and the remainder will be 1 similarly for the 17 it goes 8 times with remainder 1 this 8 goes 4 times with remainder 0 this is 2 0 2 1 0 so this is your MSB and this is your LSB so it is 1 0 0 0 1 1 okay so this is in binary and this one is in your BCD and both of them are not same okay so this is the difference when you write a given decimal number in a BCD this is the way to write it, write it. you have to select the numbers individually and write it in BCD and then write them collectively on the other hand if you want to write them in binary you have to follow this procedure that we have already discussed in binary sorry decimal to binary conversions so this is all about the basic introduction about your bcd code in the very next lecture we will try to solve some problems on this bcd which is actually very important if you stop the bcd here it is worth nothing because you have to solve the questions after you know what is a bcd and uh, we will do it in the next presentation basically the addition of the bcd numbers which involves certain rules so see you in the next presentation